Hey guys, Gerard here, Pretech Engineering. Uh, so a customer sent in a cylinder head to us, and I just wanted to chat a little bit about it. So, he sent in this head, somebody's done work, we don't agree with the work, and he said he still wants to carry on, so we can improve it as much as we possibly can. So yeah, he knows we're not happy with it, and uh, it's not the way that we do it. So I just wanted to chat a little bit about it. So here we got two Golf 4 heads, uh, the APK Golf 4 crossbow. We like to use them on our performance cars, uh, put some throttles or side rafts on them, and we get them to work very nicely, you know, on the performance cars, the oval tracks, the track cars, and so on, even the, the street and drag cars. So this is a stock standard head. It has not been gas flowed, standard valves. It's a 40 mil and a 30, 33 mil. Here we got the head that's been, um, somebody's worked on it. It's got a 42 mil intake valve and a 35, so 2 mil bigger, 2 mil bigger than standard. If you want to go bigger valves, you need to know what you're doing. You can't just go bigger valves because it's better and there's more airflow. You have to make it work for you. So, look at the standard valve. Just get a pen here. Look at this area over here. Look at the space for the air to flow. And it's the same on the exhaust side. Look at the space for the air to flow. Yeah, let me get that intake back. There's an overlap there. Look at that space to flow. Now we're going to come over to this valve with a big valve. The guys literally just destroyed the airflow over here in this area by going bigger valve. So the big valve is supposed to help you with more airflow, but you just went backwards with the airflow. So you're kind of defeating the object with a big valve. 90% of the time when the guys go big valves, they go backwards. They kill the mid-range completely. They most of the times kill the dyno graph, power graph all over. I mean, especially in this case, I don't know what you wouldn't want it to achieve. You did so much work, you ported the head, you know, you, they actually opened the throat, which is pretty cool. Um, which guys don't normally do, which sadly, which you're supposed to, but they went backwards in the combustion chamber. If you want to do something, you have to do it right. You can't do it half right or go backwards in one area and forward in one area, you know, not, not destroying flow. Because, I mean, you really kill the flow and there's no benefits in the way that you kill the flow. You know, I understand if you got a super boosting crazy amounts of bar and you are sitting with a problem that your, your exhaust seat's too small, the seating area, and you can't dissipate the heat quick enough, you know, and you start bending the valves because of too much heat, you know, and then you cut this big three mil seating area on the exhaust, you know, trying to get the, the heat to dissipate into the, the valve seat, I mean, the, the, the seat insert, you know, so you're trying to dissipate the heat, so you messed up the flow, but you're trying to dissipate the heat into the head, so the valves don't bend, so you can still carry on with your crazy boost in your seven second car, you know, that I understand, you destroying airflow, but it's for a purpose, there's no purpose here, you just destroyed it, there's nothing good about this, now, now what you would see guys do most of the time, is they would put a big valve in, they won't even open the throat size here, you they just standard, standard throat size, and you're not even deshrouding for the air to flow, that's stupid. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. You need to, if you put a bigger valve in, you need to open up the throat. That's the whole purpose for more airflow. And you have to shroud it. Now, I don't know what these guys did here, but this is an ugly short turn radius. So that's killing horsepower. The seat can be improved. It's not bad, but it can be improved. This is horrible. Look at this. Oh, sorry. Look at that corner there. That is going to kill airflow. It's going to kill horsepower. You don't want that. You know, and it's all over. It's on this side as well. So you need to get your shrouding done right. You need to get the flow right. Very, very important. So the standard combustion chamber actually looks better than the flowed combustion chamber. Suppose it will not flow, but I mean, the one that's got performance work done. See how much better the standard combustion chamber is for flow than the big one. 
if you do performance work, you can't do it half and kill it in a one area and do performance work in the other area. You have to do the whole package. You got about uh, up till there, I would say, to improve airflow. There where the carbon buildup is, you can see that. So the head gasket size is 83.5. The bore size what we run is normally 83.5 or 84. So there is room for improvement there. There's about one 1.5 mole that you can improve here with airflow. Same on this side. We can improve airflow on that side as well. That is a must when you go big valves. And like I said, 90% of the time when the guys go big valves, they mess it up. I don't know if it's a selling point. Uh, the guys just want to make money by going big valves. Standard exhaust. Load exhaust. These guys opened this thing up so big. Let's just go back there again. Nice and tight. They opened this exhaust port up way too much, especially for the setup. Now this is a 1600 head, a 1600 engine, bottom end. By going this big, they literally destroy the scavenging. Most guys don't even know what scavenging is. Scavenging is crucial in a cylinder head. Uh, it's, it's, I almost want to say it's as crucial as the branch. The, the, you got a lot of stuff that's important. You got uh, the branch, the, the head runners, the, the diameter, the inside diameter, the lengths. This is crucial. Um, the, the timing is crucial on the cam. The camshaft for the engine, for what the engine needs is crucial. Everything is crucial. The valve size is actually very important. No application is the same for each setup. No head work porting and cam is going to be the same. Uh, every setup will have its own needs, its own cam size, its own port size. What we're going to do, is it foot flat, is it a track car, is there exit speed involved, do, do we want mid-range, is it a small turbo that kicks in easily, you know, is there low lag, less lag, is it twin turbos, you know, you know that, that'll determine what we're doing with the porting, what do we want to achieve. So there are so many variables involved. With a big cam comes big overlap, with a big overlap comes more back pressure, you have to eliminate the back pressure, back pressure is bad. Uh, by going this big on a 1.6, you messed up the scavenging. The scavenging basically is to get the exhaust gases out and to get it uh, filled with fresh new air and with the air fuel mixture. Uh, you you want to get the exhaust gases out of the combustion because that's going to cause horsepower loss. Uh, the more you get out, the better. You want to eliminate the back pressure. Uh, the scavenging is a problem. If it's too big, it's low velocity. You can't get it out fast enough. If it's too small, it's high velocity. It's a restriction, so you have to get the balance perfect in the middle. Uh, to get the scavenging out, everything is important, especially if you run naturally aspirated. You know, you know, in a turbo car, in a sense, I know it's not that true, but you know, there's a lot more to it. But you can just turn the boost. Aspirated, you can't. You have to think. You have to think and work it out, and you have to do development and you have to do testing. <sighs> there's a lot of guys that just worry about an airflow bench and a number. How, f how much? Uh, how much airflow is there? Uh, the airflow is important, but that's not all. There's so many variables involved. Uh, you really not, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, when you come to us, obviously we've been around the block. We've been doing this for many years. And uh, here we do it right. We do development. We test that. We make sure it works. And we make sure it works for your application. Okay, guys. So this is a standard valve. This is one that we've worked on. Look at this area over here. Look at how much material has been removed there for airflow. You can see when you compare the valve over here to this one. So that helps a lot with airflow. And then uh, obviously we like it a little bit rough on the back of the valves. And on the exhaust the same thing. Uh, look at the lip over here. Look at the difference. I'm going to try and put some pictures up here so you can see it a little bit easier. But yeah, the material here is removed a lot. Exhaust obviously doesn't get a rough because we're not worried about the atomization. So we just polish it up. And uh, there's horsepower here in this area. Very important. Okay, guys, we're back. This is the intake. So we try to improve it as much as we possibly can. And there is your rough finish for the side rafts. 
because we don't have the pressure that injector gives, you know, three, four bar. So atomization is very important on side drafts. And now we have to get that right. Let's turn this around. There's your exhaust. You've worked on the short turn radiuses. Get them nice and round. Remember this ugly short turn radius. We've got it as round and nice as we possibly could over here. This area. So we increase the seats as well. Got them to flow as good as we possibly can. Look at how the seats flows. It's a radius seat with a small seating area on top. Same on the exhaust. Hey, focus. So, oh, oh, struggling to focus. But anyway, same on the exhaust. Radius with a small seating area on top. Uh, remember these ugly corners in the combustion chamber. Those ugly corners are all gone now. So the flow is much better. So yeah, the head still needs to be lapped. Uh, we just did a vacuum test to make sure it's on point. And after that, we're going to lap it. There is your airflow. So we are restricted by the piston size, sadly, by the bore size. We can shroud this a little bit more, maybe a half a mil to a mil more. The problem is the bore size is restricting us, so it's pointless in shrouding it open if the bore size is going to hang over the combustion chamber. So this is all that we can do for now, but it's better. It's at least a millimeter to 1.5 more better than it was. So that's very good. I'm happy with that. And uh, on the exhaust also we improved a little bit. So, yeah, we improved the flow, which is very good. Again, we don't agree with the big valves on this, on this setup. We definitely don't agree with it. But uh, each to his own. And, uh, yeah, we, we got it to work better, definitely. We got the flow better, everything better. So I hope you guys enjoy.